Okay, so hello, Ville. Hello. Good to see you again. Same here. How, how are you? How did this one mini tour go then? Uh, we've been mostly travel and waiting. It feels like a, a long day. We played already yesterday. Mm -hmm. This feels like the same day because of the flying schedules. Uh, we are very tired. Okay. <laughs> I heard that uh, Marco had some problems with me. Uh, yeah. He's, he's playing. Yeah, he had a surgery in the beginning of this year. And he's allowed to play as long as he's careful. So recently you released a huge vinyl box. How did this idea come around and why is the fight with every song? Uh, I think it was two years ago already when we started talking about it. And there was this label, Club Music, that was really interested in doing such a crazy thing. And we of course liked the idea and started collecting material for it. And we really wanted to do it so that no one could complain. Did you like the result? Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's really good. It's really massive. I have a copy at home. It's really heavy. It looks nice. Sounds good. And, uh, some stuff is included there which was absolutely unreleased. Uh, the two demos that were about to be lost. And then were uh, yeah. Uh, actually, the, the lost material is still lost. Oh. There, there, there are still, uh, I think, two songs that we recorded but do not exist. Anymore. But we, we gathered everything we had for this final box. Why didn't you, okay, so Thor Suffice, half of it is good, right? But why didn't you release Gobo? Uh, the sound was horrible, as you can hear on the final. We did our best, or Andrew did his best to uh, make the best of it. it the, the sound was really horrible, I don't know what happened. So we weren't that experienced in recording back then. So we just we couldn't release it. It was so horrible. Like sound like. And the, the box had been so expensive, of course, of course it's justified. I'm not <laughs> arguing that, but uh, isn't it a bit unfair that all other people who cannot afford such a thing <coughs> cannot have the demos? Well, as we live in the days that we live in, I'm pretty sure that everyone can find those tracks for free like that, from the deep depths of the internet. So I, I don't think that will be a problem. Okay. So, uh, you have been for a long time uh, compiling material for a DVD to be released at some point. And now this box and a DVD is, uh, I, I suppose, your project, DVD project is not accomplished with this, but was this prepared for this DVD? Uh, yeah, it was supposed to be a part of it, but uh, we just decided to put it on this because yeah, it concentrates on the tour after the fifth album. And it's just... Uh, the one year after the release of the album, following us on the road. It's like a kind of complete small package in itself, so we figured that we can release it as it is and do something something uh, more for the DVD. We have a lot of stuff, but we never know when it's going to be released. There's still nothing that we can do, right? No, we are. Uh, we're called Epic for a reason, because everything we do happens slowly. And talking about, about that, about slowliness, the composition of the next album, how is it going? How is it being done? Finally, I have some good news for everyone. We have 60-70% uh, of the material composed, and we are going to record it uh, later this year. So it will eventually come out. Now, now I know it, and now I can say it. <laughs> and will it be conceptual? Will it, will it be pick up the project from the last? Or mm, now it will be completely different. Uh, conceptual maybe. 
in a way, but then again, not. I'm intending to do separate stories just to keep things interesting. We made so, such heavy albums in the past. Uh, recently, uh, less than a year ago, you started playing Aika for the first time live, which is a song that is maybe 14 years old. Why did it take you so long to decide to play? Honestly, I don't know. I, I don't know. We just like when we were planning the sets for the shows, like last year, we figured that we have to add something. We don't have new material, but we have to add something. What are the songs that we didn't play before? And then we just came up with that. I don't know why we didn't play it before, but now we play it. And it, it sounds pretty good, in my opinion. There are like, very few left that we will play, right? Why are you good at that? Yeah, we're not, never going to play that, I think. <laughs> it's too complex. Uh, boy. <coughs> oh, yeah, I don't know. Eat a bell, yeah. Yeah, we don't. We probably don't. are not gonna do those 30 minute songs that much in our live sets because we wanna play more songs than just a couple. Yeah, Eat a bell is one. Uh, there, there are not many songs actually we, we haven't played. No, is more. Okay. We have talked about playing that, but let's see. Yeah, hopefully. I hope it is more successful live than in Huntington. Huntington. <laughs> I really love that song. I think you told me that, that, that people don't like it. No, it wasn't me. It was Meteor. Ah, okay. He has a strong opinion about people not liking it. I don't know. Really? I like to play it. But it, it might be a bit on the boring side for the audience. I don't know. It's got this super fast. Okay. Super fast and super long. Yeah, but it's so good, okay. <laughs> well, uh, again with Alka, uh, what is the inspiration for this song? The, the topic of the uh, It's related to... Yeah, the, the end of the Viking age. Even though the year is actually wrong, it's supposed to be 1066. Yeah, that was also a question here. <laughs> was it a mistake? Uh, probably. <laughs> I can't tell. So uh, it, it will remain a mystery. Okay. Uh, right now, in, in this moment, we are very close to Stamford Bridge. Do you plan to visit it, or uh, unfortunately, again, we didn't have time to go anywhere. Uh, okay. Everything today when uh, nothing today went as we planned. We had to mm -hmm. wait. Wait for a long while in the hotel. We have to wait for a long while to get to do the sound check. The sound check was uh, overly long because of technical problems. And, you know, we don't have time for tourism today, unfortunately. <laughs> it's a pity. Yeah, it, it really is a pity because it's an interesting town. Mm -hmm. Right now, it's uh, what <coughs> I forgot to say. We are in New York right now in the United Kingdom, and a Viking festival is going on this week. Uh, Actually, my question was if it's any special to play uh, this festival. Maybe you didn't have so much time to check it out, but to yeah, be part of it in a way. Yeah, of course it's special. We we didn't have much time to check out anything even beforehand, but it's really cool to be a part of part of the event. And uh, on the la last topic about tourism, is that we just have to accept. Uh, it's part of the deal. We are here to. We are we are paid to play concerts. We are not paid for sightseeing. If if there is time, we do it. But if there is not, then there is nothing to done, be done about it. Work is work. Work is work. It doesn't feel like work, of course. The travel feels. The traveling feels worse than work. <laughs> Another song with uh, Viking topic is Tuli Muski. It's a uh, song, as far as you know, there's a story, right? Can you tell us a bit about this story and if it's real or not, and where does it take place? Uh, no, it's definitely not real. Uh, I made a, made a story for Bonnostad, the Bonnostad. 
And, uh, oops, that's, that's the thing that's for the hearing impaired. Uh, yeah, I made a story for one of the things that about uh, a raid to a Viking village, and who knows, it's like a continuation for it when the Vikings go and revenge everything. It's completely just made up. No historical connections whatsoever. Okay, so um, so is Puymas de Yacuni is actually a conceptual album? Uh, yeah, it's supposed to be. <laughs> As they are only five songs, can you tell, tell us more is what people and music? Yeah, I try, I can remember. It's <laughs> <I'm> so long <laughs> ago. No, no, it's, uh, it's about the two brothers. The other one gets blinded by money. And he stays on one of the raids, uh, like far from home, and starts negotiating with local people and gives them uh, tactical advice how to sack his own hometown for riches and for this information he gets paid. Mm -hmm. And that's basically the story. In an Antonio these people gather their forces and prevent it. And the bloodshed continues. And do you think you will ever deal with Vikings again? Or you're done with that? Uh, I don't know, I don't know. Mm, Vikings are a very interesting theme, but I, I think we covered it quite a lot. And we might do different things in the future, we might not. No one knows yet. I'm not gonna reveal anything about the new album. But it probably doesn't have anything to do with Viking Settlement. Okay. Have you ever had the, the wish or the curiosity of uh, making um, some acoustic project or orchestral project or something else than you usually do? Uh, if we did it, we would do it under some other name. Uh -huh. Anyway, probably like if some of us gets interested, we can do it. Is in, like considers best. It probably would be handy who could do something like that. It probably won't, wouldn't be a moon so We're just playing rock and roll. <laughs> okay, uh, about the loudness more, what do you think? What is talking? Ah, it's completely silly. Okay. I, li I like the, the sound of the 70s. Mm -hmm. However, the album have it that has a really low dynamic range. Yeah, I know. It, it wasn't my decision. I'm, very, I'm deeply unhappy about it still, but it, it is what it is. So was it the label or was it within the band? No, Henry is in charge of all of the production, so... Uh, I would say that if you want to ask the question, ask, ask him. Okay. Oh yes, you know, lighter topic. You're no longer naked on stage, poor girls. Uh, no, actually I think it's better for them anyway. <laughs> They'll get the traumatized for life. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, yeah, but... Yeah, no worries. And, what can we expect tonight? Good. Okay, good intensive moves or sex. Okay. Not, nothing less. Okay, so thank you very much.